Hi! Hello everyone! Welcome to VIP Kid. My name is Teacher Monica. You can pronounce it Monica or you can pronounce it Monica, whatever your preference is. Before I proceed, I have a disclaimer. I am a physical education teacher. This is after hours, but the Boys and Girls Club is using my gym for their program, so if you hear lots of noise and children running, screaming, whatever it is they're doing for their games, I apologize in advance. I would never do this in a real lesson for VIP Kid, but for an impromptu video about creating a green screen effect using Manicam, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. We shall see during playback. So, first thing is download Manicam. Manicam has a free subscription. They also have paid subscriptions. I have only been using this for about four days. And within the first 24 hours, I decided I wanted to go ahead and pay for the studio subscription because I wanted to have some extra perks as part of it. However, if you choose to stick with the free one, it had plenty to do and to work with on there. So there is nothing negative about either one. There were just a couple of extra little fancy things and options when you pay for the subscription. So let's get started. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm a physical education teacher. This room that's back here looks nothing like what I do every day. Nothing even resembles all this color and fancy schmancy things with desks and things on the walls and all of that stuff. Um, so I needed to create something that was more inviting to kids and to parents that looks more like a classroom. So what I did was I created this background using a green screen effect. So in Manicam, it's actually a feature in there that's called Chroma Key. So this is it over here. It looks like a computer screen and you just select that. Oops. And this comes up. Now, this is the wallpaper that I created off of an image and then added some things. This is what it looked like before. So I'm going to, first let me adjust my computer there. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that from the very beginning. So I'm going to clear everything out. I'm going to make this a transparent background again. So you turn chroma key on by just clicking on this little slide bar and it turns green and that lets you know that it's on and ready. Select this little dropper and then select every area that you would like to get rid of. Now let's say that I accidentally went, oop, yikes. This little reset doesn't let you just reset one step. You select reset and it clears the entire thing, so you have to start all over. So just click away, click, I'm gonna move a little bit so it gets what's right behind me as much as possible. I, I try not to get too close to my hair, close enough where it's not so fuzzy and kind of messed up, so. Okay, so that's about good enough there. Here, one of the options is blur contour, and what that does, for me anyway, what my preference is, is to extend it a little bit to the right so that it looks like this glow that I created is more intentional versus this, where it's constantly moving and it's more obvious to me. I don't like it. Maybe you do. Maybe your kids won't even notice. I prefer it to look more like I intended for the glow to be there. <laughs> All right, so... After you have removed the entire green screen, go to Select Background Image in this little drop-down menu. I go to Custom Background. I have already created a custom background that I have saved on my desktop. Select it. Open. Ah, Ta-da! Bada bing, bada boom. There's my classroom. The really cool thing about it is I can have all that even though it's for pretend. It's just a green screen. I can still add images from the objects, just like this, just like you would when you're not using this stuff, when you've got a piece of fabric behind you or um, a shower curtain or whatever you've got behind you as your decorative element to your classroom. Alrighty, so that is how you create the green screen effect using Manicam. This, I'm actually glad that actually popped up. So let's say that that happens and it's really annoying you like it does me, just go back to chroma key, use your dropper, and select those little spots that popped up again, and then you're good to go. Now, where did I get this from? How did I create these things that stayed as part of the wallpaper in the background? Oh, thanks for asking. 
So I use Canva. Canva is like Manicam in that it has free subscription and paid subscription. I have used the free subscription for years because it has enough features on here for me. So what I did was before I went to that, I took a screenshot of this box right here and once I was done it gave me the dimensions in pixels so then I went to canva.com up here on the top right corner I used custom dimensions then I typed in what the dimensions are 736 by 553 pixels and then design it gives you a blank slate you can add some templates in there that will help you adjust the pictures and not stretch them out to where they're totally distorted. You can add different elements, you can add text, you can add other backgrounds and colors. What I did was I googled free classroom wallpapers, free classroom backgrounds, and I came up with a few pictures that I thought I would like to use, and then I just played around with them a little bit until I made my decision. So what I ended up choosing was this classroom. So I uploaded it, I, I click on the picture, it populates it on the image, and then I just hold it down and drag it, and then it automatically adjusts. I don't have to do anything else unless I wanted to make, make it a little smaller or focus in on something that's a little bit bigger. Just keep in mind that if you expand it too much, you might get something that's a little fuzzy. Then you can upload whatever images you like, the logo, Meg, a backpack, some banners, whatever you like. I recommend not putting too much on here that's too big, that becomes an eyesore, that becomes a distraction. On mine, what I did was I added the logo, the VIP Kid logo, I added Meg on the whiteboard, and then I added my name on the side so it remains in the background as part of my green screen effect background. After I decided what I wanted and I was done, then you go to download here on the top right, select download, leave it as PNG so it's transparent, and then download. It takes a few seconds, it'll download, then you can open it up and you can save it to whatever folder, hard drive, wherever you want to save it. And then you go back to your Manicam chroma key and you will upload your picture here in the select background image as custom background and then you get this it's as simple as that easy peasy like i said and i it only took me a few hours to figure this out right now what i'm trying to figure out is all the features that are on the side over here of chroma key i'm sorry of manicam and playing around with that and trying to figure out how else i can use this Manicam is something that you can use in the VAP Kid Classroom. The kids can see all of this. The kids can see objects that you're adding if you don't have a ton of props. Um, if you want to change things, if you want to be really techy, then you can add all these digital delightfulness goodies. That didn't make any sense. Delicious, delightful goodies um, as part of your teaching experience. So I'm going to upload this to my YouTube. I'm uploading this to my Instagram, and so if you have any questions, please feel free to message, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you learned something from this. I hope it didn't ramble on for too long, and uh, I will see you next time. Have a great rest of your day.